early autumn and we're in a field where we've got soil compaction and, and the issue is here is what can we do about it? This is a typical field in the West Country where this field here is Swedes and it could be potatoes, or it could be parsnips or it could be maize it, it, but it's a common problem and the interesting thing about this field is, is that we've had a, a, a dry summer in 2020 yet what you can see it's still wet enough to cause deep soil compaction and if we were to leave this field in its current state we would end up with runoff, soil erosion and, and problems again this winter. So one way of dealing with this soil compaction is to mechanically break it up with a, a cult, deep cultivator, a subsoiler or a tined instrument, anything to break open the ground. And that is what we're doing here. What we've got here is some loosened ground and what I want to show is just how the compaction and why you need to loosen this ground. So I'm just, let me just uh, break the spade. Right, here we are. If you look carefully, you see this ground here is just absolutely solid. Right, so you wouldn't think that this really dense ground is underneath this dry bit, um, but this is some traffic ground. You can see actually that it's gone grey and it's got a funny smell to it because the, the rotting vegetable matter in this dense anaerobic soil that's devoid of oxygen start smelling foul. Um, but the soil is hard here and yeah I can smell it now, the smell the, the sulphide and this just needs busting open and so what, what has happened here is that a subsoil leg has gone through here and you can see it's gone right down to here and it's lifted this, this ground. See what it's done? and it's just busted it open. It's gone underneath this bit here and lifted it. This is going to need working again with, to break this up. It's, it's actually quite wet. Um, it will dry out now it's been lifted and then the following crop can go in. Part of the solution uh, for dealing with compaction is actually to choose the right field in the first place and this what we need for these crops that are harvested late in the year is we need freely draining soil brown earth soil that doesn't lie wet so this would be a good example let's just have a quick look I'm um, just this field this part of the field here is is hasn't been trafficked on just here it's, it's relatively dry and so hopefully the soil structure underneath not too bad so if we just have a look so I can dig this out and you can see that the soil it's a lo lovely brown soil brown earth so it's, a, it's a, a clay loam on the the uh, lighter end of clay loam it's freely draining there's a, an earthworm here and it doesn't lie wet if we were on clay soil that was impeded drainage it would, when it rains, the water would soak through and then lie wet and there would be less opportunity to do something with the field at this time of year. The fact that this is uh, uh, freely drained, the water can drain away. I mean, it's still plenty damp enough. Um, if we squeeze it, it still is compactable, but it's, it's fine for cultivation. We can lift the ground. Okay, but the, the most important point about the soil here is that it is loose and well drained and I mean if the whole of the field was like this after harvest 
you wouldn't need to intervene with mechanical. You wouldn't need to lift the soil and break the compaction. This would be fine. And you could just level this ground and drill the next crop, direct drill it, because you've got lovely soil structure. But the, and it'll be fine. But when you've got deep compaction elsewhere on the, on the field, which we'll have a look in a minute, then you have to do something about it. I'm in a slightly wetter part of the field. It's just a, a damp area and just want to illustrate a point about soil wetness. Okay, this is just a small area here of, of wet soil. Um, you can see here. Uh, and it, it's, it's obvious that if the whole field was like this, it just makes it so difficult to, to sort the problem out. Uh, the, the, Although it's wet on the top, it'd be surprisingly dry underneath, I'm sure. Let's just have a quick look. So what I want to illustrate, even though it's really wet on top, that is actually perched on a hard layer. If I just pull that off here, the... Uh, and then what you've got just here, just clear this out of the way. It's harder part here. Maybe if I can just get that out. Ah, there we are. So it's this dense let's so you've got this wet slop on top, dense water can't drain through this hard soil. And then underneath, it's not too bad. And if the whole field was like this, then it would be very difficult to do anything. And this is why the choice of the field for growing these late harvested crops is so important. There's a lot of land in the West Country that is freely draining and is suitable, but there's also a lot of heavier ground. And maize is grown on heavier ground sometimes, and it's very difficult to do anything about it. Just look at this, this, this soil here is, is acting like concrete. Look at this, um, really compact soil. Um, this is probably an old headland uh, where uh, uncropped and a lot of vehicle movement, but you can see here the soil is just absolutely like concrete. One thing that has changed over the years is the mach machines now have become so heavy and the soil is just getting compressed. Um, it's very easy to be worrying about organic matter of the soil and of course organic matter is important but actually there's another thing that is going on with our soil and that is compression and the weight of machinery and this is just a good example. So w what have we learnt from this? Um, well one, one thing is obvious, it's, it's raining now again, it's been a very difficult year. We had a, a wet winter, difficult conditions difficult to do cultivations, then we had a, a really dry summer and then wet again in August with some heavy storms, more runoff problems and if compaction is created and it's inevitable in the West Country when we've got uh, such wet conditions then we've got to do something about it. Uh, in the ideal world we've got nature to sort it out but that's just not going to happen and so there are going to be times when we need to intervene and intervention is uh, with mechanical cultivations, deep lifting. We can subsoil the ground, deal with the compaction. If we break open the compaction, the water can drain through the soil. That's good for the soil, it's good for the crops, and it's also good for the environment. Mm -hmm.